answered. God has revealed the thief who is sabotaging everything surrounding you, so your prayers are not penetrating heaven. Now you can get rid of this thief and access God's blessings, miracles, signs, and wonders. Find out more when we return with Dr. John Benefil. Call now and get John Benefil's anointed book and three-part DVD teaching series, Binding the Strong Man Over America. It's yours for a donation of $45. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9167. Through this book and DVD teaching series, you will receive the ancient keys to have your prayers answered immediately. Fully recognize the thousands of disguises of Baal and learn how to defeat him, releasing miracles and blessings into your life. Unlock the financial inheritance due you as God releases His supernatural wealth transfer. Included are two powerful prayers, the Veil Divorce Decree and Writ of Assistance. Through these two anointed prayers, you will bind the strong man over your life, city, state, and nation so you can begin receiving the blessings and promises of God in every area of your life, including your finances, emotional and physical healing, and so much more. I'm excited about the future of our country. I'm excited about the future of Christians who love the Lord and will get Baal out of their lives so God can bring in the wealth transfer that He has prophesied to us. Don't miss out on getting John Benefil's anointed book and three-part DVD teaching series, Finding the Strong Man Over America. It's yours for a donation of $45. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9167. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9167 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid here with John Benefil. And uh, Dr. John, I am overwhelmed with the information. I just hope we can get, get all of it out. But uh, we are literally worshiping Baal, this false god, through a lot of things that are done in ignorance. Uh, for instance, uh, tell me, tell me uh, uh, something about uh, uh, our U.S. dollar. Well, on the back of the U.S. dollar, if you look at it, you see the seal of the United States. And part of it on the back of the dollar is the pyramid. Uh, the, and with the top of the pyramid is the all-seeing eye. It's a truncated pyramid. And at the top, there's this all-seeing eye, which is the eye of Lucifer just as the Statue of Liberty, and I'm not making this up, the History Channel gave an hour special on this a couple of years ago, exposing that the Statue of Liberty is actually a statue of Lucifer. The originators of that statue were three French Freemasons that admitted this is Lucifer, but they said it's not really Satan. This means the light bearer. So the <laughs> eye of Lucifer is on the back of our dollar bill. And that's, uh, that's under Freemasonry, even though they may not, most Freemasons don't understand this. You know, most Masons, most Mormons, most, most folks don't understand that they've been duped. They, they don't go into those organizations wanting to be duped, but that's what the enemy does. He deceives us because he appears as an angel of light. Now, speaking of uh, Masons, one of the leaders in the U.S. was a man by the name of Albert Pike. Uh, Pike. Tell me about him. Albert Pike was a Confederate general who was convicted of treason, yet he uh, is, there's a statue of him in D.C., and he, he uh, wrote Morals and Dogma of Freemasonry, which is the Bible for Freemasons. Most Freemasons don't even realize this, but the higher you go, the more you'll find out. And what he wrote was, and what's revealed in the 33rd degree of Freemasonry, is that Lucifer is God, Lucifer is the good God, and our God, Adonai, is the evil God. They have it all backwards. As perverted as you can get, but you would expect that from the enemy, wouldn't you? Now, I, I find this hard to believe, but the Ku Klux Klan was started by the same Albert Pike? Albert Pike started the Ku Klux Klan in the United States, and his friend in Italy, Mazzini, at the same time, we were both Masons, he started the Mafia at the same time. They're all connected. All, remember, there's only two kingdoms. There's the kingdom of God and there's the kingdom of darkness. And if Baal is the ruler of the demons, then it's all under his orchestration. And when I say his, it's, it's the, there's as much female as there is male because the queen of heaven is the part that's the female part of, of the Baal principality. Uh, what about Mormonism? How does this fit in? 
same way, uh, same way really uh, Mormonism stems from masonry and if you look at the two worship systems and their rituals and all of that, you find them to be almost identical to each other. Uh, District of Columbia, I was born there and I'm shocked by what you told me. Well, when we named it the District of Columbia, we said this is the district belonging to Columbia, okay? But we didn't know who Columbia was. Well, Columbia is the Queen of Heaven, and the statue on top of our nation's capital is called the Statue of Freedom. But it, you, when you find it out, you find out this the Statue of Columbia. So that idol, and it is an idol, it's, a, it's, an, it's an idol that's really worshipped, that thing is given authority over our nation. That's the queen of heaven. That's the female part of the Baal Principality. And then what you have at the other end of the mall is the Washington Monument, right. which is an obelisk, which is a Freemasonry symbol, which they've really erected. And that thing is a, ma is a male phallic symbol, which is also a part of the Baal worship system. So from one end of our mall to the other, you've got Baal. Uh, now, we, we had a hurricane uh, in which the uh, Washington Monument was cracked and something to do with Masons was affected. Explain that. Yeah. Well, uh, there was an earthquake uh, and, and, a, right. and, a, and a hurricane too, both, about the same time. But in July, July the 4th of last year, 2011, we, uh, uh, we led people, uh, a team of people, to the Lincoln Memorial to issue this bail divorce decree. We did it there, and when, what happened was 50 days later, this earthquake, which D.C. hardly ever has happened there, it, it shook the Washington Monument and cracked it so that even today, that obelisk, that evil symbol, can't be, uh, it's been, having to be repaired. Also at the House of the Temple, which is 13 blocks north of the White House, where Freemasonry performs the 33rd degree, where they're told that Lucifer is God, what I've been told, and somebody sent me a picture, is that that altar there has been cracked also in that earthquake that cracked the Washington Monument. And the National Cathedral... That, that, do you guys think that was just a coincidence? <laughs> I don't. I don't. Do you think that was a coincidence? No, not at all. Not at all. God continues to amaze us all the time. We just did what God said to do, and then he follows up with his, this great act. And so also the, the National Cathedral, which is not Christian, uh, the, which is the highest point in D.C. And by the way, we renamed it from the District of Columbia to the District of Christ. Well, because <laughs> it belongs to our God. Those spires, two of the four highest points in D.C., cracked and fell off during that same earthquake. Another coincidence.